Is it happening now? The poles of the Earth are shifting? Is Earth's magnetic field flipping when North goes South? The magnetic North Pole is no longer where it once was. Since 1831, when British polar explorer James Clark Ross discovered it on the Boothia Peninsula in Canada's Nunavut Territory, scientists have been meticulously measuring its location. However, our North Pole has been creeping closer to Siberia at an alarming rate in recent years. Is it alarming? Well, let's find out. Hey guys, welcome back to Beyond Unknown. Today, we will be taking a look at how the poles of the Earth are shifting and will this bring a catastrophic effect in our lives. Make sure to stick to the end of this video as we have a lot to cover. And also, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and like today's video. It helps us a long way. Is the Earth's magnetic field changing? The magnetic field of our planet is primarily created by the flow of liquid iron within its core. It has always existed on our planet, but its polarity has shifted several times throughout its history. Each time it flips, up to 100 times in the last 20 million years, with a reversal taking up to 1,000 years, it leaves fossilized magnetization in Earth's rocks. We can look back in time and see when these reversals occurred by taking cores, or columns, of sediments from the seafloor, similar to a long straw that can extend down up to 300 meters with the help of a drill. Dr. Thuvani and his colleagues focused on two types of elements that allowed them to dig deeper into the history of our planet's magnetic field. The magnetic field must weaken by about 90% to a threshold level for polarity reversal to occur. This process can take thousands of years, during which time our planet's lack of a protective magnetic shield allows more cosmic rays, high energy particles from elsewhere in the universe, to strike us. When this occurs, the cosmic rays collide with an increasing number of atoms in our atmosphere, such as nitrogen and oxygen. This results in the formation of a cosmogenic isotopes, such as carbon-14 and beryllium-10, which fall to the surface. And by examining the quantities of these in cores, we can determine when polarity reversals occurred. It's been 780,000 years since this occurred, and some scientists believe that the Earth's magnetic poles are overdue for a change. Something strange is going on with the Earth's magnetic field. It has gradually weakened and shifted its magnetic north pole, or a compass point, not the geographic north pole, from the Canadian Arctic to Siberia over the last 200 years. However, in recent decades, the slow shift south has accelerated, reaching speeds of up to 30 miles per year. Could we be on the verge of a geomagnetic reversal, in which the magnetic north and south poles reverse positions? The magnetic field of Earth is produced by the convection of molten iron in the planet's core, approximately 1,800 miles beneath our feet. This superheated liquid generates electric currents, which cause electromagnetic fields to form. While the processes that cause pole reversal are relatively unknown, computer simulations of planetary dynamics show that the reversals occur on their own. The observation of the Sun's magnetic field, which reverses every 11 years, supports this. Our own magnetic field formed at least 4 billion years ago, and the Earth's magnetic poles have reversed numerous times since then. The magnetic field has switched 10 times in the last 2.6 million years alone, and because the most recent occurred 780,000 years ago, some scientists believe we are due for another. However, reversals are neither predictable nor periodic. Magnetic Field Mapping Researchers use volcanic rocks to reconstruct the ancient history of the Earth's magnetic field. When lava cools, the iron in it magnetizes in the direction of the magnetic field. It is possible to reconstruct the past behavior of the planet's magnetism as it strengthened, weakened, or changed polarity by examining these rocks and using radiometric dating techniques. Scientists use the magnetic properties of archaeological artifacts to track more recent magnetic changes. When our forefathers heated an ancient hearth or kiln containing iron to high enough temperatures, the magnetism realigned with the Earth's magnetic field upon cooling. The Curie Point is the location where this occurs. Some floor segments of an Iron Age building in Jerusalem, which was burned down by a Babylonian army in 586 BC, have been studied. However, measuring these archaeological artifacts is difficult. For one thing, the magnetism in ancient objects is extremely weak, insufficient to move a compass needle. And, if any object is repeatedly heated and cooled, several magnetic patterns will be superimposed. 
Finally, their dependability is contingent on the objects remaining in the same location where the heating occurred. We can already see the effects of a weaker magnetic field on our orbiting satellites today. The Earth's magnetic field is approximately three times weaker in the Atlantic Ocean between South America and Africa than it is at the poles. The South Atlantic Anomaly, or SAA, is the focus of the CORSAT project, which is led by Professor Chris Finley of the Technical Institute of Denmark, or DTU, near Copenhagen. Using data from multiple satellites, including three swarm satellites launched by the European Space Agency in 2013, this project is attempting to determine what is causing the SAA. This is a region where satellites consistently experience electronic failures, Professor Finley explained, and we have no idea where this weak field region is coming from, what is causing it, or how it will change in the future. Despite these challenges, scientists have largely mapped recent changes in the magnetic field beneath Western Europe and the Middle East. Scientists are unsure of the exact consequences of a reversal. Evidence from previous reversals is lacking, but they could be severe. Many animals, for example, use the Earth's magnetic field to navigate during migration. Juvenile loggerhead turtles emerge from underground nests on Florida beaches, swim out to sea, and travel far into the Atlantic Ocean, sometimes completely traversing it. They then return to the same Florida beaches where they were born after many years. They navigate the 9,000-mile journey by sensing the strength and direction of the magnetic field. A reversal of the magnetic field would severely disrupt the lives of salmon, whales, birds, and other creatures that use Earth's magnetism to navigate. Furthermore, Earth is constantly bombarded by a stream of charged particles from the Sun as well as cosmic rays, mostly protons and atomic nuclei from deep space. The magnetic field weakens and becomes significantly less effective at shielding us from those particles in the period preceding a reversal. While some geologists note that the mass extinctions appear to be associated with these time periods, the direct impact on humanity may be minor, but not on technology. Artificial satellites are used for navigation, television broadcasting, weather forecasting, environmental monitoring, and various forms of communication. Solar wind or cosmic rays colliding with electronic circuits could seriously disrupt these satellites if they are not shielded by a magnetic field. A weak magnetic field in the South Atlantic Ocean, known as the South Atlantic Anomaly, is already causing problems for satellites and could be a sign of things to come. Recent geological research has suggested a possible explanation for the anomaly. Our moon is widely assumed to have formed when Earth was struck by the planet Thea 4.5 billion years ago, but Thea's remains have never been discovered. It now appears that Thea's remains may be beneath our feet. There are two massive volumes of rock buried deep within the Earth, each one millions of times larger and expanding than Mount Everest and denser and hotter than the rest of the Earth's mantle. Scientists believe that these rock masses are Thea's missing remains, and they interfere with the convection of molten iron, causing the South Atlantic's weak magnetic field. Regardless, the severity of a magnetic reversal is determined by how long it takes to complete. It is possible that migratory creatures, as well as humans, will be able to adapt if the climate slowly shifts over thousands of years. Meanwhile, we still have a lot to learn about what's going on deep within our planet. And that ends our episode. We hope that you enjoyed our video. Please subscribe and leave a comment down below your own thoughts, and don't forget to like today's video. And we'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.